Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the Menno Lounge. I'm Julie Gordon White, CEO of Menno Well, Menno Pause Energy and Protein Bars. Make sure you fill your travel bag with the right travel snacks. Get those Menno Well bars in there so you won't eat the other yucky stuff at the airport, at the hotels, on, on, on. As a matter of fact, somebody just um, texted me and said, hey, I need to get some, can you overnight me some Menno Well bars? Actually, not just one person. This is the third person within the last week uh, because I'm going on a trip and I need them ASAP. I'm like, yes, we can do that for you. So, Ladies, I'm so excited today. We have got a really awesome topic. I'm going to bring up Loan Wiley. Introducing her, Loan Cavill, who is a co founder and CEO of Amira Health. And we are talking today about AI powered tool that she and her co founder created in order to stop hot flashes. Well, hello, Loan. How are Hi. you? Hi, good to see you again. How's good. it going? Are you on vacation or just somewhere fabulous? No, I'm in this lovely house in Dolores Heights. Um, very, very grateful for these views. Um, you pay for it on the hills up, though. <laughs> Got it. Now, where did you say? I'm not familiar with what you said. I'm at Dolores Park. Oh, in Dolores. In, in, San, Francisco. in San Francisco. Yeah. Yes. That. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. I'm so glad to see you here on the Mental Lounge. We've been talking about this for a while. Yeah, too long, huh? Um, I'm, my camera's getting all wonky today, so maybe I just need to move back. So I'm super excited because you have created something really cool, and um, we share our OBGYN advisor, Dr. Larissa, which is also super fun. So, um, all right, AI-powered hot flash tools. But before we even get into all things Amira and Tara, um, we have to just address the elephant in the room. You don't look like you're having any hot flashes over there. So yes, yes, tell I, us, Loan, how did you get to here? How did you get totally. to this? It was not because of my own hot flashes, but the hot flashes around me. Um, so if I zoom back and where it all started, never plan on working on menopause. But um, once I got exposed to the problem for my aunt literally being hospitalized, from something she took for her hot flashes that's when i started to do a little bit more research and being um initially curious saying this has to be niche spoke to about 350 menopausal women after that and realized how not niche it was and how um devastating it is that we have so few real solutions in this space yeah. there's so few innovators working on the space like all the menopause companies know all the other menopause companies by name. Um, and we need more invention here. And I think the types of products and solutions should come in all different shapes and forms. It should not just be drugs. Right. Some women don't want to take the HRT path and that is totally okay. And we should make those paths available for them. Mm -hmm. um, so we started building the path using our MIT know-how, which takes into account um, novel yeah. sensing innovation. That's good. I want show and tell here. So yeah, um, yeah. that's the great thing about physical products is I can just show it to you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we have the bracelet here. I wore mine last night. That's what does the prediction. So while you're sleeping, what we do is we predict an impending hot flash so that we can respond to it so she doesn't have to. So we, so let's stop there yeah. for a second. So your technology, the Terra bracelet, right? Because you've got the Terra system. Um, the bracelet predicts the hot flash. So it's not like you're sweating and then all, all of a sudden, ding, 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 everything goes off. And so it, or it anticipates it. Tell us a little bit more about it. It anticipates it. So we can start to see micro pore size changes in your skin before you notice yourself sweating. So we can pick that up before. And what's, beautiful about um, the solution is if you catch it early enough, you can keep sleeping through that hot flash. Um, and how we do the relief, we have a cooling mattress pad. So there's a pad that goes on your bed. Um, I use it all the time because I get super hot at night. And then this is a little um, fashionable tank that cools down the water that gets sent into your pad. So uh -huh. it's as soon yeah. as a hot flash is identified by the bracelet, it tells the cooling system to cool itself down and is cold within about seven seconds. Wow. 
So you're sleeping, you don't even know it, your pores start to do their thing, the bracelet goes, oh, here, here she comes, power yeah. surge. And so it sends a message then to the hub that cools and, and sends the cool water into the cooling pad. Is that right? Exactly. exactly. Now, and the bracelet is not attached to the hub, right? So you're not connected over here to Correct. something. No, it's just through the air, through Bluetooth. Wow. And so how many, you know, how, without telling us all the secrets, of yeah. course, getting to this point, did you start out, was this your design initially, or were you thinking of something else, or did it all come together perfectly? Yeah, we tried a bunch of things in the early days. So at first, we started with temperature sensors, because that seems like the intuitive um, way, but that's too lagging of an indicator. And the resolution for a changing temperature in a hot flash is too small. So it's about 0.1 degree temperature change. Um, so that didn't work. Then we tried lasers through the ear canal to get a core body temperature through infrared. And then we landed on um, this sensing modality, which uses electrodes to um, observe the skin conductance. Um, so we tried a bunch of different things, a bunch of different form factors, many chunky, uglier versions of what we have now. Which is beautiful. Um, before, yes. <laughs> before settling on this. Yeah. yeah. And so what are you hearing from your customers that are using the pad? Yeah, we was chatting with one um, last week who's been having hot flashes for nine years. And she's <laughs> like, I don't know how it worked. I don't know what it did. All I knew is that I just slept through the night for the first time in like mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think that's something that we dance with without being overly uh, technical and explaining how it's working versus just letting the magic happen. So for them, it feels a little bit more like magic yeah. in the fact that it keeps them asleep. Well, and really the fact that it helps cool you down mm -hmm. really supports sleep. Yeah, so exactly. It's, it's dual. It's not just hot flashes, right? I mean, it's, it's really that when our bodies, because even now, you know, I'm postmenopausal. I don't even know how I'm not long now, five years or something, maybe more. And um, I still get hot flashes at night. I still get hot at night. Yeah. And so when you're dealing with that, yes, I'm happy that the hot, the flash is solved, but I'm more happy that I'm sleep. I'm going to sleep, right? So yeah, that's the bigger benefit. That's what we see for women that we speak with they've been through so much pain being a woman in this world for so many years um that they're used to like toughing through discomfort right. but when you take hours of their sleep each night they're not able to show up day to day how they once used to be able to mm -hmm. so once you give them that cornerstone of health back they're able to be so much fuller versions of themselves yeah Beautiful. Is there an application at work at your desk to have a cooling situation happening? Do you think anyone we, doing it that way? We do have those at our desk at the office, ironically, that you ask. And we haven't started developing Asking for a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that will be um, an easy 2.0 of our V1. Yeah, because, you know, I wish I, and then I would like a jacket after that, please. Can I have a blazer, a cooling blazer? Oh, you should see our menopause jackets. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to send you one. We have these big bomber jackets that say menopause everywhere yeah. on it, like a hundred times. Yeah. We think this is something that everyone should be spoken about and yes. everyone should be loud about. It shouldn't well, be like awkward. But I need the, the Terra Hub inside the jacket. That's yeah, what I'm that, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that would be cool. Yeah. Um, and so how has it been for you as a founder in this space? You know, not only are you young, you're doing some incredible innovation. What has your experience been so far? Yeah, I, I think a lot of people ask, why would you be working on a problem that doesn't affect you personally now? Um, which I totally understand and acknowledge, but we have people working on cancer that don't have cancer themselves. And I think it's just a way of, um, contributing to society and we should all be doing it like women in their 40s and 50s are in all of our lives and for women like myself those are our role models right and I think menopause is a huge blocker for unlocking those role models for younger women mm -hmm. so I think that's one of the big reasons initially where I'm like okay this is gonna be my life work because 
being the role model yourself, yourself is limiting, but unlocking role models for others, Ooh. that's where you have a huge potential to have a trickle down effect. In my mind, if we unlock the menopausal women, then we unlock the power of women of all ages because younger women are able to see that ceiling broken. They're able to see those women complete the career climb and see them in those decision-making rooms. And then that makes the younger women believe they can also do that. I love that. And I love the terminology unlocking menopause because that's, that's such a great way to describe what many women feel like locked in our bodies, locked in the stigma, locked in the experience of it. So that's gorgeous. And you're right. And you know, the more young women who understand this journey, they can be prepared and not afraid and don't have to suffer and they can have your pad sooner. Cause I bet, you know, I'm just thinking about other young women I know who um, in their, their menstruation could probably have a nice cooling pad. It's not always just about heat. Sometimes you just need something cool. Totally. Is that an application uh, that would, that has been tried? Yeah. So we want to expand into what we call uh, warm flashes. So people mm -hmm. get hot, warm randomly at different parts of the night mm -hmm. and they kind of need fast relief and it doesn't necessarily need to be that the entire night. Yeah. I think that this is something that women, especially menstruating women do um, experience more than we acknowledge. Yeah. So this is a market we definitely plan to expand into because what we're really good at is being dynamic to your ever changing needs. Mm -hmm. um, and not just menopause has ever changing temperature needs. So they have the, the most um, intensely, but I think there's a lot of opportunities for women with pregnancy, women with hormonal imbalances elsewhere, men mm -hmm. with prostate cancer, mm -hmm. a lot of different demographics that have um, heat belts that we would like to also address. I love it. That's why having uh, a founder outside of the, the demographic, you know, that's how you can unlock it because you can see all of those different applications, mm -hmm. not just one. Um, let's go back to AI. So how does AI um, impact what you've created? You know, it's such an exciting, all you have to do is put AI in front of something and then it gets, you know, it, the excitement level goes up 10. So do you want to share with us a little bit about how AI works within the technology? Yeah, so AI is so broad encompassing these days that there's so many different types of AI. So we have embodied and um, utilized a couple different types. Um, the primary one that we are using is the prediction. So how can we, with very noisy sensor readings from the sensor bracelet, see a hot flash coming in advance? So this is something that we train our prediction algorithms on a bunch of other data so that you can cross correlate, oh, this little small change in this shape might represent an impending hot flash. And then you, you feel confident about that based on your training data and your AI model, then um, that prediction starts to implement the cooling response. Um, cool. so that's our primary use case. And then one thing that we also wanted to experiment with is AI menopause coaching, because we saw that there's such a huge gap in tailored menopause information and how to go about your life in the day to day. So we created a little AI menopause coach that women could text to get answers to um, very niche, very broad, very like private parts of their life as well. Yeah, and so that's available on your website? That um, is available on our website and I'm happy to walk anyone through that like personally. Um, we aren't promoting that as much just because that's still more development. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Uh, I think there's there's so many applications and we're all looking for ways that we can utilize them. But I love that you're doing some training and you're putting data in because that's part of what makes it so rich is what goes in. And I wonder how much data about menopause is actually going into the AI sphere, right? To come back out the other side. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of data going into menopause models, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But I think this is something that hopefully we'll start to see more change around is more information so that we can then get to more base level science. Yeah. Because I think that's one of the things that's so missing in the medical field right now is base level data understanding so that we can 
make recommendations to patients. Mm -hmm. Right now, doctors don't want to admit that actually we don't know what's going on in menopause. It's kind of embarrassing, you know, after that (laughs) years of education to be like, oh, no one knows what this menopause thing is. But in reality, really, we don't know what's going on. Um, But that's where some of the base level uh, data um, pulling in will help. Have you, speaking on that level, have you uh, connected with the Menopause Society to talk about that this at all with them? Yeah, I love the Menopause Society. I think they're a really well done organization. Mm-hmm. And also being um, a, a different point of view, I think could really add a lot of value. Totally, mm-hmm. totally. Mm-hmm. So with your AI perspective and your, uh, your unlocking menopause point of view, mm-hmm. What do you think um, going forward are going to be some of the more interesting things that we that are going to come out of this space, whether that's technology or other things that you're seeing that you want to share? Yeah, I am really hopeful for a like real time hormone tracker um, so that we can titrate and dose HRT in a more personalized and precise way. So you would need a lot less of the medication in the first place. Um, so that's something that I'm really excited about. Hopefully we build it first, um, but would be really happy if anyone were to build that because I think that um, each woman has such different hormonal baselines and hormonal needs. If you gave women the same amount of hormones, they're all going to respond to it differently because we each have a different baseline. Mm-hmm. So getting them back to the baseline that is them, that feels like them, I think is incredibly important. So having tooling that enables us to do that, I think will be a big unlock of the space. It goes back to individualized medicine, yeah? Okay. Personalized, yeah. Personalized medicine. Um, so good. All right, so I don't know if you brought any tips that you have to help women uh, through hot flashes. Totally, totally. Share what you have. I'd love to hear what you've got. Totally. Come on, bring so, us something so- new. We, well, besides, of course, your incredible system. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, outside of system some of my favorite hot flash recommendations one is meditation before bed um i think that meditation is incredibly powerful and there's been a lot of interesting research on different types of meditation being especially effective for hot flashes um not to belittle anything but to encourage the ununderstood power of meditation um another one i like is acupuncture okay wait a minute Um, you dropped a little secret there. Is there a specific type of meditation like trans and trans and no, I can't bring the word. Up. There's, trans- there's forms of hypnosis that seem to have pretty convincing evidence around. But um, I think that each one of them is powerful in their own right. But some might be a little bit more powerful for hot flashes. That's great. I, I'm a huge fan of meditation every morning and it just calms your body down. Yeah. And so to do a little meditation before you go to sleep, or maybe if you wake up even in the middle of the night. Totally, yeah. I'm with you on that one. We live in a crazy world, we need that. (laughs) Anything that we have, you know, at our fingertips, so. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. What else you got? Another big one I would say um, that we've seen to be effective is acupuncture. Um, I've talked to a lot of acupuncturists that do a lot with women experiencing menopause and hot flashes. Um, because they can kind of see some of the interconnects there. Um, Hormone replacement therapy is something that many women love and would never live without. Um, So that's definitely a path. Um, Black cohosh is something I have my mom on right now. (laughs) Yeah, what's Um, her experience? I've heard good and mixed things about black cohosh. You know, I think it really varies on the woman. I think it something that many women have to try and just see for themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, But she's liked it so far. And then last but not least, Menowell. Like I think food is medicine 100%. And there's so many ways to up-level ourselves. So I love what you guys are doing uh, to not just help hot flashes, but to help so many of the other symptoms of menopause. Yeah, thanks for that. We we agree. Food is medicine. I, I talk to women all the time, of course, and they ask, you know, what about hot flashes? And I always say, um, nutrition is your biggest lever. Start yeah. there, you know, start there. And then we have all these other really cool things yeah. that women can try. 
Um, so if women want to try the pad, try the whole system, mm -hmm. um, tell us again for anyone who just joined about the complete, um, I want to make sure I did the Terra system. Tell us yeah. again. So if they just hopped on and then also how they can find it. Yeah, totally. Okay. So, um, Amira helps you sleep through the night, specifically through your hot flashes. So we have a way to predict your hot flash through our wearable bracelet and then a way to cool it down with a cooling mattress pad. Um, so these two in cohort will work so that you don't have to while you are sleeping. So it'll see that hot flash coming and start cooling you down so that you can hopefully stay sleeping through the night. Um, where women can find this, it's at amira.care, www.amira.care. Um, and we can offer special discount codes for your people. Um, so have them feel free to reach out to hello at Amira um dot care as our like email as well and then we can make a good deal for them oh that's great so did you hear that everybody make sure send loan an email at hello at amira dot care yeah yeah and even if they're uncertain about it and like not sure if it'll work for them we're offering a couple um trial scenarios for women that are a little wary of technology um so that's something we're more than happy to do as well that's great I love that you're meeting women where they are because new tech as it relates to hot flashes or anything menopause, you know, just like us having a trial pack because women are like, I'm not sure. You know, I, I see women love the double chocolate brownie with peanut butter, but what if I don't, you know? So I, I think it's important for all of us to meet women where they are with our products and services so they can try them, see if they're helpful for them if they like them. So that's awesome that you're doing that because it's an investment, but it's worth it because sleep, investing in this device, sleep matters. I mean, years and years and years we can go and not get good sleep. That takes time off your life, it really yeah. does. Not to mention, you usually wanna kill the people around you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> We experienced that one a lot as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, wonderful. Well, I'm so glad you were here. Thank you. And also, we'll make sure that we love to do something so we can send out to our, our list and let them, you know, women know about what you're up to. And I know that you, you're you still in production, so you have some, but I know that they can sell out also. So don't. Yeah don't dink around if you're thinking about it ladies send loan an email at hello at amir.care.com uh, so you can have a conversation and she'll put together something special for you so you can try it because sleep matters sleep matters yeah. so good stuff well, thanks so much for having us here yeah thanks funny. for joining i hope to see you soon i'm sure i'm going to bump into you at an event in the bay yeah. I think there'd be more. We need to stir up more events around here in the Bay Area. Yeah, there are very few menopause events. Would love right. To we have to go to LA and New York, so I, I guess know, that's I a, know. a call to action. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Be well. Sleep cool. Yeah. Don't get hot. Go check out. Follow also, Lauren, you want us to follow at Amira Health on That'd Instagram? Great. Yeah, uh, Amira Healthcare. Is Amira awesome. Healthcare. All right, everybody. Be well. Stay cool. Bye, guys. All right. Take care. Bye.